asked a few times to make this video and create this video and at first I was thinking like I don't know it's kind of self-explanatory meal prepping uh, there's a lot of different videos out there on how you should prep your chicken how you should prep your broccoli how you should prep your red potatoes like I'm gonna show you today but I remember back thinking when I started and really the f foods were pretty bland and they weren't the most nutritionist and they weren't really, it was really hard to like eat the same kind of meals every single day because I wasn't prepping correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I personally prep my food and I hope you guys can learn from it. I just went to the grocery store and got, this is this week's food, about eight pounds of chicken, all from Lucky's. Got some bag broccoli, I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me fresher is better but I just got some bag broccoli along with spinach. I'm going to be prepping this. I normally just have this in a bowl for a snack every single day. Every single day I have two kiwis. Kiwis are one of the best fruits that you can have. Blueberries I put in my oatmeal. A lot of good antioxidants. Got bananas. Good source of carbs, potassium, you already know. Got two bags of avocado oatmeal. This is normally what I have for breakfast. So with uh, macadamia nuts and one of the best nuts you can have. Good source of fat right here. Okay guys, pretty simple. I'm gonna cut these chicken breasts into three nice small pieces. Um, from there, uh, we're gonna bake it just like that. how I did it, I cut it up into chicken breast into thirds, put it in a bowl, season it with whatever seasoning you want. Keep an eye on the sodium, just don't over season it. Season it just right enough where it's spread out in between the chicken breast and mix it up real well for a couple minutes and then just put it on the pan, spray it down with butter of course, or coconut oil preferably, but right now I just have butter, so uh, don't judge me. But I so said that's what I got right now, and we're about to bake it at 375. 15 minutes each side, and then we're gonna flip. Now we're gonna bake the chicken at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes each side until it's done, which normally you just flip it once and it's gonna be done. Don't wanna overcook it, wanna make sure the chicken's nice and juicy. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you how I prep my broccoli. softening a little bit. I don't want to cook it too much where it's going to start losing the color, losing the nutrients, or even steaming it too much. I'm sauteing it just a tad bit before I put it in containers. Um, I still like it a little crunchy. Add a little bit of garlic sauce. So I'm just going to just put a little bit in here just to give it a little garlic flavor. At this point guys, it's time to take a little break. The chicken's cooking, the broccoli sauteing. I just want to remind you guys, if you're enjoying the video, to click the subscribe button and to comment down below if you're enjoying the video, if you got some insight from this video, as well as what type of content do you want to see next. Other than that, guys, we're going to get right back into it once our little break is over and the chicken's ready to flip. 15 minutes in the oven at 375. Now we're about to flip over and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. You can still see it's pink. We're gonna flip it over and make sure it's well done. Or not well done, but make sure it's completely cooked through before we take it out. In the meantime, in the meantime, the broccoli is done. So now we're just gonna put it in a Tupperware, let it cool down before we put it in the fridge, of course. But sauteed it pretty nice. It's about cooked halfway through. 
where it still has a lot of the nutrients, but it's gonna taste a lot better, especially with the garlic salt. And now I'm gonna add these to my meals throughout the week. Chicken is done. Wait to cut it because uh, when it's really hot, it breaks apart real easy. It's nice and juicy. Right now, you guys can see it's real nice and juicy. Uh, perfect, perfectly cooked, not too dry. Uh, perfectly well done. Uh, but you guys can wait, cut it up. I typically do rams, uh, put it, or I normally go with ounces. So put the bowl on the scale, then you just click the on button. Depends on the scale, of course, but now it's gonna zero out to zero out. Bam, one ounce. So typically for meals, depending on what you're gonna do, you're gonna be doing 40 ounces every single meal when it comes to chicken. And then you can put your potatoes on top of that, your broccoli, if you wanna also scale out that so you are tracking your macros or you're hitting your meal plan exact right here. You can tell it's a little bit over. Um, if it's less than 0.1 ounces, I wouldn't worry about it, but that's for me anyways. But guys, that's how you scale your food for ounces. This would be just about right. Hey guys, that's how I personally meal prep chicken and broccoli. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. You saw my grocery list, what I'm gonna be eating for the most part this week. Add some red, more red potatoes and turkey on top of that. Um, you saw me prep chicken and potato, or chicken and broccoli, as well as I showed you exactly how to scale your food. So I hope you enjoyed. If you want more videos just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Other than that, guys, get better today, get stronger today. I believe in you, and it's DC Health and Fitness. Check you next time. Peace.